Let's write the structural formula for propyne. So for propyne, the chemical formula or the molecular formula is C3H4. But we really need to draw the structural formula here for propyne to see how these atoms are arranged. So let's do that. So we see YNE is the ending. When we see YNE, that's going to be an alkyne. We're going to have a triple bond. So we have a triple bond. And the prop right here, that tells us three. Three carbons, that's our longest chain, with a triple bond. So let's put three carbons up. And right now, everything's single bonded. This is just propane. So we need to put a triple bond. It really doesn't change anything if we put the triple bond here or we put it on the other side. If you rotate the molecule, it'll still be the same thing. But each carbon can only be bonded to four things. So why don't we put our triple bond here, but then we'll have to get rid of some hydrogen since each carbon can only bond to four things. So there's the triple bond, and let's get rid of one, two. So this carbon here has one, two, three, four bonds. This carbon here has one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need to get rid of these carbons as well. Now this carbon here is bonded to four things, is so is this. So this is the structural formula for propyne. We looked at this in three dimensions. This is what it would look like. So the blacks are carbon, the whites are hydrogens, and it's a linear molecule. Everything's in a straight line here for the carbons, that central carbon chain. And you can see we have the triple bond here. If we move it this way, it's still the same molecule. It doesn't change anything. So that's why we just call this propyne. We don't have to put numbers in to show where that triple bond is. Let's go back. And that's it. This is the structural formula for propyne. If you wanted the chemical formula, that would be C3H4. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.